Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Blue Lock episode review, and this one I will be talking about episode two, Monster. So this episode was an episode that went by so fast. I feel like the people in the Crunchyroll comments where they're like, "Oh, this felt like five minutes." Like when every time an episode goes really fast, it does feel like five minutes. Sometimes I'd be like, "Why? It's over already!" Like I'd be like, "What, Nani?" So this episode we got a breakdown of different things. So the Blue Lock program they're in. A, everything has to do with soccer. That's one. Two, they're gonna play a, a match, Team Z versus the other team, and Team Z is basically the lowest ranked team. And because a lot of players got eliminated, uh, the lowest ranked person is Isagi, uh, part of Team Z, right? Isagi's friend, right? Well. I'm not going to say they're friends because at the end of the day, they're all competing to become number one and their soccer careers depends on this program. And if they fail the program, they literally their careers are over, which really was impacted, really shown in the beginning of the episode with the player that got eliminated, eliminated in last week's episode. And he was just like, why me? Like, I'm better than this person. I'm a genius and all this stuff. And basically, he was like the golden boy i guess the golden child of soccer and his whole career got shattered after failing the blue lock program which is going to be really interesting the dynamic between isagi and bashira because bashira says there's a monster within him and he also says that there's a monster within isagi and that's the reason why he passed the ball to isagi when he had it and isagi just kicked it unconsciously to the other player and eliminated him which was really interesting i believe his name was uh kira uh it was really interesting so two players so far we have seen with monsters within them now what is this monster the monster inside is basically the fire that they have inside like they have this fire where in Isagi's case he does things unconsciously right he kicked that ball unconsciously. He's like, just super, so quick, he didn't even think about it, right? In Bashira's case, he know, he knows what the monster wants. And he wants to do what his monster wants, right? So he could become an even better player. And that was showcased in the flashback when he had the game. And somebody kept saying, pass it to me, pass it to me, pass it to me. And in his mind, he's like, oh, he's too slow. To make the goal basically right which is really interesting and i do believe that it's going to get to a point where isagi himself will control the monster within him i think a better representation of the monster is talent the talent within and the talent bashira has within himself and the talent isagi has within himself talent with a lot of potential hidden potential that's what I'm going to describe it as. And, you know, this anime has the community in a frenzy, in a good frenzy, because we're getting so much good soccer content this year, and I'm really happy with it. Now, another thing with this episode was the revelation of this midfielder that he's like, okay, I haven't found anybody worthy of my time to pass it to. This. Then he was talking badly about Japan, and he actually got interested because they were talking about the Blue Lock program. And basically, the winner of the Blue Lock program will be the best striker in the world and all this stuff. So this mid midfielder, he's like, oh, I I'm going to just stay anyway and, and observe this program because he, he, wants, he wants to see the talent that this person that will come out of this program will have. And I definitely do see this as a long-running series. Uh, the guy, the midfielder's name, his name is Itoshi. As a long-running series. And yeah, even though the first season, I believe, will have 20, 24 episodes. I definitely expect multiple seasons of this because it's really good. Uh, next week's episode is going to focus on the... Team Z versus the other team. And the other teams are just seems very uh, sinister. Like, they're very strong, basically. That, that team is going to be insanely strong, probably near impossible to beat. And we will see what happens within that game because 
I feel like in this traditional soccer game where basically everybody's goal is to make a goal traditionally, I guess that's what soccer was, which I'm not going to say that's historical. It might be or it might not be. But I definitely do think a lot of the Team Z members are going to get eliminated out of this competition or like the lowest performance members, I, I would say. I think the next game... What's going to determine if you stay or not is how many goals you make. Let, let's say, or how many defense you have. The goals, defense, like how well do you perform in the one versus, uh, in the team versus team. I almost said one versus one. In the team versus team, which I do believe that there might be a one versus one uh, section of this exam later on, which would be really interesting. Because, you know, there's scenarios in soccer where somebody has the ball and... It's a, one defender versus the person with the ball, and the defender has to stop him. So it's going to be really interesting, especially with the program director of this, where he's like, everything we do here is related to soccer. You got crappy meals, that's because your skills are crappy. You got gourmet meals because your skills are top-notch. And I really, really like uh, the direction they're taking with this one and how everything relates to everything else. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the next week's episode and seeing the conclusion of that game and how intense it's going to be. And I'm rooting for the underdogs, Team Z. I always like rooting for their underdogs. So we'll see what happens. Not only that, Isagi's performance in the fiscal area and stuff showed how limited his potential fiscally is compared to everybody else. Everybody else is so gifted. And Isagi's like, oh... Yeah, this guy, he's super athletic. This other guy is super athletic. And one guy even told Isagi, oh, are you not feeling well? And Isagi, in his mind, is like, oh, no, this is my best. Like, there's nothing more that I can give and stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Isagi develops as the main protagonist and how stronger he gets, especially with the monster within him, which has, like I said before, it's probably a lot of hidden talent that he has, that he has not fully utilized yet. Overall, I'm going to give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoy this one and peace.